Hello, hello again. Um, today I want to talk about something uh, different than before. Mm, and so I'm going to talk about um, improving memory, uh, improving brain brain functions, and um, rewiring yourself or creating new neural pathways. Uh, why am I going to talk about that? Um, well. Uh, back in 2011, I had a, a brain injury. Um, I'm not going to go back into details, but uh, long story short, I found myself in a very uh, difficult situation um, from the standpoint of a, of a person who is very active and uh, does a lot of uh, different things and uh, is always fast, never sleeps and so on. Um, I found myself in a totally different reality where I had to start um, everything over again. Uh, okay. Every day I was in uh, horrible pain. I was taking a lot of painkillers. Uh, my health was in very bad condition. Um, I um, I also uh, I, I felt really down uh, about what happened to me uh, because I couldn't uh, I couldn't. I couldn't really take care of myself on my own uh, uh, from a p person that uh, takes care of everything and is fast and uh, always busy, always on the on the move. Um, I had to have people that are around me to make sure that uh, I'm safe, I don't um, accidentally fall or uh, because I was very dizzy as well. I could walk straight away uh, after I um, uh, woke up from coma. But uh, I was very dizzy um, and uh, also mm, the physical things, the, the normal things that we take uh, for granted, uh, everyday things like uh, dressing up, or making yourself tea or coffee or food, uh, that was out of my range at the time. And for, uh, for a good few years uh, I was getting back on my feet. Um, well, first I started to, uh, to, to be more and more independent, uh, but uh, what I was suffering um, from as well was memory loss and memory... Um, uh, my memory didn't exist actually. Uh, so um, I would uh, I would uh, spend my day uh, however I would spend and at the end of the day if I was asked what I was doing I would just stand and I was like oh, I don't know I don't know because I don't remember and uh, this was really frustrating because um, you can't live without your memory you, you you're realizing that uh, when when you lose it when you lose uh, things that you're used to on a daily basis, uh, you're starting to realize, realize how um, important they are to you uh, and to everybody. Uh, so what I started to do, I, um, I, I never give up. So uh, even though I was uh, pretty frustrated about it, I was uh, sad about it and depressed, uh, I never given up. Mm, and I started to, uh, to read about uh, how, how, how can I uh, get back on my feet, even though the doctors were saying, oh, we don't know if, we, if you will ever be able to, um, to go back to your normal life. Uh, because brain is, a, is an organ, where it's not, um, we don't know everything about it and everybody is different and a lot depends on the will. Because what I um, have um, learned over the years is that you can fix your brain, you can create new neuropaths and you can, um, as long as you give yourself a chance and, uh, and you're patient about it, I'm not good at patience, um, and as long as you work on it, you're able to go back on um, to, to previous or even better. But... Um, you have to work for it. So um, if um, you find yourself with um, short-term memory loss or you can't 
uh, you're not as concentrated as you used to no matter if you had an accident or you, you, you had a, a problem with your head or um, simply you have um, your lifestyle um, is created that way uh, that you're not as healthy and it's affecting your memory affecting your brain or sometimes um, even normal people when uh, they don't pay attention of uh, the things they're doing they're doing them automatically um, they also uh, have uh, memory loss I talk to a lot of people and sometimes um, like normal people with no um, head injury or, or anything like that they would say oh I, I, I too have problems with my memory sometimes uh, so I'm going to share um, the ways I used uh, to rewire my brain um, to improve my memory and so I can totally normally function and uh, now it took me some time because um, because like I said it it is a journey it it is a process and you need to um, take some time uh, depending where you're at uh, what uh, what is um, your situation now um, you never know how long time we are going to need. Uh, sometimes it's few months, sometimes it's few years, sometimes it's more than that. Uh, but the key point is never to give up and just to find your own way. What I was doing first, uh, I I was uh, trying to le read as much as possible uh, because at first I couldn't even concentrate on on um, on reading. I was reading but I don't really understand what I'm reading. I couldn't remember the sentences. It was that bad. So I would read the sentence um, in a book and then I would have to go back a few sentences because I would lost the track of what's happening in the book. And it doesn't matter what kind of book it is, uh, whatever you find interesting, it doesn't matter. Uh, but uh, I started to read then I found uh, some uh, games that improve uh, memory. I found some ga games on uh, in um, uh, marketplace uh, on my phone. Uh, I was just searching and I accidentally uh, found the games uh, that would improve memory. And I would uh, play those games uh, not a long time. Uh, it was usually 10, 15 minutes a day. Uh, but I was doing it every day at the same time at the same hour I would put an um, alarm uh, so I don't forget because <laughs> my memory wasn't good so I needed to, to put alarms about everything uh, notes and so on and this is also helping um, and I started to play those games um, uh, I can't remember what I was because I'm not playing it for a long time and uh, I forgot the name of it because uh, I moved on and I didn't need it anymore so and I didn't think that I would need to share with it uh, about it with anybody but um, but you can you can uh, search uh, on Google and um, you will be guided somewhere uh, you can find games like that um, crosswords Sudoku um, those are other uh, other things, uh, other activities that you 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 can do to improve your logical thinking uh, and your memory. Also, learning languages. Learning languages is it's, it's proven uh, by studies that uh, creating uh, creating new neuropaths and it's keeping the brain busy all the time. Uh, so. For example, uh, if you're trying to translate from one language to another, there is another level, a higher level of um, training your brain. But that's for like later. Uh, and it's been proven that um, learning languages, speaking more than one language, um, is uh, preventing from uh, developing um, develop, developing dementia later on in life which uh, which happens to elderly people and we take it like uh, as a normal thing that happens over time but this is not true and I want you to remember uh, you don't have to settle for uh, conditions of age um, a lot of people 
as long as they train brain it's the same like the rest of body uh, you can have people that are sitting on a couch watching TV on the, all the time and not moving at all and they find themselves uh, sick uh, later in life because the, the life lifestyle over the years is um, is um, determine, uh, determines um, the way they feel uh, as an older people uh, so and, and a lot of people mm, think that oh I'm old so I'm supposed to be sick this is a lie I want you to to know that um, you are um, you are responsible and you take a full um, full control over uh, over your life and the way you feel even if you have um, even if you have difficult uh, difficulties, uh, obstacles, or some some disease happens, um, uh, or or a condition like, for example, in my case, you can always overcome that. Um, you can look for help, and it's over uh, uh, always um, fixable. Like almost always, of course, there are some some conditions that uh, are very um, difficult. Um, and there are exceptional but look uh, as you uh, as you get older you don't have to get sick you don't have to get um, uh, bad memory or dementia uh, because if you exercise um, and uh, your body uh, if you if you train your brain for the memory you read a lot you exercise you don't um, just uh, sit down and watch TV this might be relaxing but it's it makes your brain um, into the state over time uh, watching TV makes your brain lazy um, so you're not exercising you're kind of going backwards because everything is given to you um, and you don't have to work for it for example when you read a book you train your imagination and you're working for your entertainment and it's all happening the whatever is happening in a book is happening in your head you're imagining it uh, but when you watch tv you have everything given and you don't have to work for it so mm, that way uh, your brain is get, becoming lazy and even if you didn't have any accident, you didn't hit your head, you didn't have a, um, a stroke or aneurysm or, or um, an accident, I said that already, didn't I? <laughs> um, over time, if you're a normal person walking on this earth and nothing bad happened to you over time of not exercising your brain, is going to um, regression, back regression, um, and it's going to go back in uh, like it's not going to function properly. You will find yourself for forgetful. Uh, you will find yourself dizzy, and so on, so on, and it's going to go worse and worse. And you will think, "Oh, I'm just getting old. That's normal." No, it's not normal. Uh, you, you need to remember that and as early as you realize that mm, the better for you uh, another thing mm, for brain physical activity is very important for the brain because um, ex especially um, cardio exercises you don't have to run you don't have to um, work out in a gym lift heavy weights do any difficult things Simple walk. Simple walk is okay. Uh, you take more oxygen in your body when you, when you walk, when you're active. Uh, of course, the more you're active, the more oxygen you, you, uh, you provide to your, uh, to your cells uh, through your blood. And the more you exercise, uh, the better you feel. And that is another thing uh, that is helping brain. So um, when talking talking about brain or any other well-being, we need to think about it uh, holistically. Uh, so we need to take a whole picture uh, about uh, the subject and not only take one part, but we need to uh, do 
the more uh, the the more we do, the better. Uh, so, for example, if you only uh, play um, games that are stimulating brain, uh, but you don't uh, eat healthy food uh, that uh, would um, I'm going to talk about food that helps uh, brain in some other episode. Uh, you're not uh, eating healthy, you're not exercising, you're not reading um, or, or, or doing other stuff that are, uh, is helping um, your memory and your brain functions. Uh, it is going to help, but it's not going to help as much if you're going to reach a certain level and then stop. Um, or you're going to progress really slow and you're going to be discouraged because you don't see the results. So you need to remember about it all. Uh, maybe, maybe that would mean um, a severe change in your lifestyle. Uh, and at first it might uh, feel uh, scary to change your lifestyle, but it's all good to get out of your comfort zone. Um, in order to feel better in the future because you're supposed to live long and uh, function um, perfectly uh, for the whole uh, for the whole life so this is the message I wanted to share with you and this is the message uh, especially for the groups um, that I'm in uh, on Facebook uh, for the groups uh, for people with traumatic brain injuries but not only because I think this message is uh, applies to anybody. Uh, we all need to take care of each other. Uh, so uh, blessings to you all and everybody uh, in the groups. I just mentioned a special hello for you. Um, below in, uh, in the description, I'm going to put some uh, links. Uh, you can follow me on social media. You can see what I do uh, daily. Mm, and uh, if you like that video, give me a like. Uh, if you want to see some more, uh, I talk about sport, diet, about, um, about uh, my art, uh, because I also uh, represent my art gallery. Um, as you can see in the background, this is some examples of my uh, works. So if you want to follow me, uh, feel free. I would be uh, I would be really happy if you follow my social media. If you leave comment below, that's also nice. And see you soon. Bye.